following the end of Sanctum of Domination, we were really left with a huge cliffhanger. Sylvanas got her soul back and collapsed mid-sentence, saying that he must not reach D. However, what is this D? Almost everyone is certain that she was about to say the sepulchre, but examining how soul splitting works, it is entirely possible that she had her memory wiped out or partially wiped out and she was talking about something entirely different. So is this theory possible? Check out Gamevo, this video is sponsored, where you can get almost any game, DLC, Shadowlands and Human Game Time at discounted prices. Use code Oron for an even larger discount by clicking the link in the description. Soul splitting isn't really a new thing in the lore, we've known about this since forever, that Frostmourne split souls, we've seen it with pretty much anyone artists came in contact with, but this concept was incredibly weak, now to be completely honest it kinda still is weak up to this day, but we definitely got a lot more depth and explanation on soul splitting in 9.1. The most notable split soul is Uther the Lightbringer that had his story expanded within the new expansion as well as that famous afterlife short Bastion. While we did mostly go through his mission in Bastion, some parts are still vague whether it was the light itself that saved him or whether it was just Frostmourne doing its thing, however though certain quest text gave us a really interesting data that could influence the story beyond really just his character, here is what he most recently said verbatim, when Arthas struck me down Frostmourne shattered my soul, but it was not divided into one part that was noble and another that was cruel, rather it was as if a portion of my consciousness remained frozen in time while the rest of my soul carried on. To feel that missing fragment restored, well, it had caused me to reflect upon many of the choices I have made. Of course, incredibly vague, but also quite interesting to think about, so he disproves what we thought until recently that Frostmourne or more blades in general just split souls into the black and white version of just good and bad. Now my speculation is that they still kinda do that but in a much more nuanced way, so they kinda bring out the dark side, but apparently as Uther said, a part of his consciousness was frozen in time, so it may not be that his soul was now bad, but just that his limit like the break, the moral compass may have been left back in time or at least a significant portion of it was left back in time. This sentence alone I think could have huge implications for the future of the story and especially the future of Sylvanas as a character. By this point I'm guessing all of you are aware of this fact but a few months ago we got new info that Sylvanas had her soul split in a similar manner but a major difference is that it was Zowal that actually kept this portion. From what we have seen from the vision of her sister, her journey into the mall in a dreamlike state, the good slash innocent side of Sylvanas resided in the mall as a part of an abusive manipulative relationship with the jailer. Of course the entire storyline was kinda weak but this kind of contradicts things here as it does seem like the more innocent version was trapped by Zowal. This here I believe might just be the key point. See Uther's soul was 100% trapped within Frostmourne, we had really known that since Wrath of the Lich King and we even interacted with his soul throughout the expansions even in Legion, however Uther was killed by Arthas and his split soul ventured into Bastion and we had seen what happened since then, so he never really had an undead phase or was ever really a person of interest for the jailer as Sylvanas was. A major difference though is that nothing in indicates that Sylvanas was ever really trapped by Frostmourne, in fact she never really died if we discount the time she threw herself off the Ice Count Citadel but really that was temporary, instead Artis twisted her into a banshee and then kept her in this undead state until she freed herself from his direct control but nonetheless as we had learned she never really freed herself. However, this new lore says that it was actually the jailer that had this portion of her soul and not really Artis, so while she was not trapped within the Mornblade, her soul was still split, just sent to the more directly by what means we don't really know, and then Zowal used this soul as a bargaining chip to get her to join his plans, which ultimately he returned to her when she had betrayed him. Now let us revert back to the fact that Uther said that the part of his mind was frozen in time and now it is fully reconnected. Does 
that mean that the soul is Uther from Warcraft 3 that had no idea about anything that happened ever since and he was just kind of attached to this new twisted version of Uther. This bit sparked I'd say a bit of a crazy theory regarding Sylvanas that her memory may actually been wiped out and that now she's just a ranger general. So instead of saying that she must not reach the sepulcher, she may have actually been talking about Artis about how he must not reach the sunwell because as you know she died defending the sunwell and Artis was the last person she saw. Well interesting I don't think this would be the case or at least not in such an obvious and direct manner first because we know that there was a different dialogue before she was raised into a banshee although it is entirely possible that she may have just mumbled that he must not reach the sunwell before she was raised now from what we had seen from the chains of domination campaign Uther when he returned his lost portion of the soul aka the frozen in time portion of the soul it didn't seem like he had his memory wiped out but it is entirely possible that such a sudden return of the soul I mean Zobal literally just took and just chucked the soul at her was a huge shock and it could have caused the memory loss or at least a temporary memory loss which is why her immediate reaction was artist as there was the last memory of hers before she was raised as a banshee. This might also be why she collapsed so quickly. The other more realistic theory is that this is a perfect setup for redemption because Uther says when he received the time frozen soul it got him to better examine his actions which means that the ranger general will now look at this villain Sylvanas with a complete disconnect which unfortunately does seem like a really good setup for a redemption arc. However if they do not go the obvious redemption route I think this could actually be a really interesting twist in the entire story. Maybe it could be a temporary memory loss or a permanent one. I know Uther didn't exactly experience this but once again Uther was just a victim of Frostborn which was but a small weapon of the Jailer but in the case of Sylvanas it was the former arbiter of the Shadowlands that kept her soul personally and he is like the person when it comes to anything uh, soul mortal related. If they decide to go the memory loss route everything on how the story progression will happen may change. Previously I myself said that Sylvanas will now be the fountain of information as she was his closest associate and he will be forced to work together with her but if she forgot everything she will just be completely useless and you will have to search for a different outlet of information. Also if they don't decide to go for the redemption it could also lead to some sort of a decent ending for Sylvanas where she commits suicide once her memory returns and the danger general realizes just how disgusting the banshee queen really was. I mean she died defending the sunwell which was like the teldrassil of the high elves and now her banshee form did the exact same thing if not even worse just to different people it really just may be something that she would be unable to bear. Overall however definitely an interesting theory to think about and I think it could really lead into something completely unexpected and interesting or it could also lead into a completely predictable redemption arc which I gotta say would be a really unfortunate ending. Thank you for watching, check out where the channel will finish to get us by clicking on the screen and also check the notes academy for videos on real world history and science. See you next time.